there's a couple of things that you're gonna need to know if you're gonna grow a successful agency and an agency that doesn't die on the vine because it doesn't have enough cash flow. So if you're charging 197, 297, 397, or even 497 per month out of the gate to your new customers, and you feel like that's a strategy that will grow your agency, it's not gonna. You are gonna need both an acquisition strategy as well as a back-end strategy, so an upselling strategy to do that. Now in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a tactical approach on how to do both of those things, okay? So watch, check it out, comment below if you have any questions. By the way, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We try and put out fire content like this every single week. Hit that notification bell so you can get our new videos and enjoy. And I think what's great about Uphex and the way they've done it is they've taken a really key offering and they've, they've dialed it back from the, you have to offer it as a $2,000 unaffordable, high churn, kind of very laborious, quite frankly, offering to a really great, easy to price, very saleable, very scalable, very churn resistant uh, situation. And it's, it, it's just an incredible, great combo. And it's very easy to do. And I think, quite frankly, it's just how you're going to make money. Like if you want to make a business, if you want to make more money, if you want to have high profit, if you want to scale, if you want to have great, good exit values, if you want to raise money, all of these things, you have to do it in the construct of a SaaSpreneur style business. Um, and that's exactly what we're offering. So I had a uh, call with Sean Clark like a year ago, and he was talking about why he liked the UpEx model so much because it took a previously expensive service of SMMA, that, that model of running ads for people for $1,500 to $2,000, and it turned it into a much more affordable and easy option for people to use. He, he, no, he noted that most of the time, there are no other services within a business to where you pay a monthly retainer that is of any size for something like that. And it was interesting because I thought about that and he's right. And so the way I look at our model and the reason I like this model so much better and the reason I prefer this model so much better is because I want a clear delineation between what it takes to get leads, the engine and everything that drives the leads into their platform, okay, which is UpEx, it's our automation, what they pay for that. And then separately on the opposite side of the column here is what it takes to get those people, those leads into their business or if they're a doctor into the practice. And to me, if I can say you're paying for a person to call, qualify, follow up and daily prospect, and I can delineate the, the charges between the two things. This is generating you leads. These are staff. These are like employees, basically like virtual employees that you have then people stay around a lot longer because they're like, I am purchasing the software that does this. And because I internally don't want to handle my lead nurture, don't want to handle my prospecting. I mean, we give people a database of leads from recent time, okay, if they're getting leads today, but also all of the leads that we've gotten them over the past whatever months of them working with us, we want those leads being worked too. And the, our clients, generally speaking, do not work those leads. So our service, is we'll call, qualify, take prepayment in many cases for these offers, but we'll also in downtime, we will fish out of your pond and go back and prospect through the leads that haven't you know signed up for an appointment yet. That's a person dedicating manual labor and effort into the prospecting efforts. This is over here is a machine generating and filling up their list over time. So they're paying for two different things. And that way it's like, well, hey, we brought on a new person in our business that can do this. Great. You cancel that one thing, but you keep this. So they don't conflate them. By conflating them when they when they um when they fire like when they want to downsize, they might just get rid of the whole thing. They might think they have to. So we lead with the core thing, which is UPEX, which is our DIY ads. And then we will upsell or at the same time of that demo call, say, if you want to add on our call center, they do these, but they're different. They're, they'll, they'll even come in as different charges. So what causes a lack of conversions? Confusion, you need clarity. You need one thing that you sell. If they show interest in that one thing, then you can always ascend them into other things. You can upsell, cross sell, whatever, but you want them to buy into that one solution. And then in conversation and building a relationship, you can upsell and, you know, keep them longer and, and deliver more value to them. That's, that's how you do it. You don't want to just try and sell everything to them at once. 
that's a good way to confuse them. Like we try and get a PIF up front, so paid in full, three grand up front, that covers your first three months, that covers your onboarding, that covers your setup, that covers all this stuff. And then they're having meetings with our team and account executives in the first three months for the express intent of one, getting them results. That's the number one thing. Our, our North Star always have to be getting them results. But if they say, we can't, we can't follow up these leads in time, or we can't do confirmation calls when your AI is booking them. If we can't do that, we have an employee that can do that for you. We'll manage them, we'll manage their performance. It costs this much. Would you be yeah. interested? Yes, I will hire that employee. They understand that. Like they understand hiring employees in their own business. They don't understand like paying an agency $2,000 a month because it all goes into this big hole of I'm losing money in my marketing. Well, if you delineate between the two things, you say, yeah. well, you're paying for ads over here. And yes, we did replace the agency. Upex completely turned the SMA model on its head, right? And the more people find out about it, they're like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. It doesn't mean you can't have high ticket. It just means like, dude, make the high ticket do the next thing. Like the next thing down the daisy chain is get those people in, whatever that is.